to draw and how to rig. Piggy course. Welcome to this grease pencil drawing and rigging course for beginners. By the end of it, you will of course be able to draw this piggy character and rig it. It has a moving and rotating head, it has closing eyes, irises that can move separately or together, a mouth that changes shapes and size along with the shin, a wrinkling nose, arms with forward kinematics, hands that change shape, a body that moves separately or connected to the legs, the legs using inverse kinematics, and the shadow that automatically automatically moves and changes size. This was supposed to be a paid course but I decided to finally publish it for free. You will learn everything you need to make and rig the piggy, but you can support me by buying the extended version from my Gumroad. The extended course goes at a slower pace for more than 2 hours and packs some extra blender and grease pencil tips and tricks. The final rig is included in the download or you can buy it separately. This course is beginner friendly, but you may want to watch the general beginner to tutorial first and the introduction videos to rigging and weight. The links are in the description along with other useful resources to help you be more comfortable with Blender. The course was recorded live and is not linear, meaning that sometimes I forget some steps or make mistakes and fix them later. This will help you learn from my mistakes and learn ways to correct similar mistakes. Pay attention to the green text that appears during the video as it contains very important information. In this first part, we will set up a reference image, prepare our file for drawing, draw then adjust strokes, then fill them. Take a screenshot of the reference image or get it from the description. And if you feel like doing a challenge, choose the second reference or follow the course normally the first time, then change reference and do it again. The more you practice, the better you get. Let's start. So here we are in camera view. Let's first bring a background image. Here it is, let's grab it and drag it to Blender and then drag it to camera view and release the mouse button and here we are. Now we should go to the camera and do some changes but first we need to go here and it's unlock object mods and now we select the camera again and now we can get the settings of the camera. So go under background image and we change from stretch to fit and then I want to put it in the perfect center so for that I will go here under overlays and hit this arrow and enable the axis so x y and z what we need for now is the z we go here to offset x and we move like this to put this line between her two legs let's zoom in with the mouse wheel shift with the mouse button move again do shift if you want to make your movements more precise and i think here we are good we will need this center in here for the mirroring because we will draw just one leg and it will mirror the other leg relative to this axis here let's go out of camera view so middle mouse button and go here and you see that the camera is like in the center and we want it to go up a little bit so that we can see our piggy just standing above this line here the x line so back to camera view zero yes the camera is still selected we do g z to move it on the z axis vertically and you see now that yes you can see the x line and this will be our ground and the feet of our piggy will be above this line here i want to change the background so i go here and the double scene world here and here we can see the lines more clearly and one more thing before starting to draw is i want the piggy to have the size of a real kid the height of a five years old kid is about one meter and ten centimeters we will try to fit this piggy to that size it is something optional but if you plan maybe to use this character in a 3d world and maybe you plan to add more characters with different ages maybe different objects different animals etc and then use them later in the same scene you will want them to have good proportions relative to each other and you don't want to start scaling up and down later and maybe mess up your rigs so it's better to do it from the start so let's use this measure tool here and then we will go to the world center here between these two lines left click and then drag vertically and see that we have some measurements here and we stop at one meter point one it doesn't have to be perfect so we have this line here let's go out of camera view and you see that we have a perfect vertical line in the center of our world let's go back to camera view zero and now we'll start moving the camera and try to fit this line here with the height of our piggy here so we do gy to move the camera on the y-axis this way when we move the mouse down we will go forward and get closer to the line let's do now gz and move it on z-axis and get it down like this i think the line is behind the camera now let's do gy again and move up yes here it is almost 
I think we are good here. GZ again and move the legs, cell dots, this zoom in, middle mouse button and then shift middle mouse like this. GZ again to move vertically and we put the feet just on top of the X line here and we don't want the feet to sink under this line because later if we have a 3D floor we don't want the feet to sink in that 3D floor so just keep them on top even if we have this space here it doesn't matter now with this tool still selected and this line I think is also still selected you can click here to add like corners in this line and you can click here to move and you can click delete on the keyboard to delete the line completely. Now we can choose our selection tool again. Now let's select our uh, grease pencil stroke again. Let's rename it. Okay. Let's go to the materials panel. We will be using the solid stroke and the solid fill here with color attributes. So we will just delete this material minus sign and this one too. And then we will go here and enable color attributes by clicking on this button here. We click on this one and we create a new palette by clicking on this icon here. Let's name this palette Piggy. And then I want to pick colors from our reference image. So for that we select the camera again and under background image we increase the opacity to 1. Then back to our grease pencil stroke and we select the eyedropper tool. And here in mode we switch to palette mode so that instead of adding a material whatever we click on a color it adds a color to our new palette that we created and that we can see here the one selected. So again eyedropper palette mode and we start picking colors so we have some pink colors this one the dark one and then the medium one and then the light one then we have black and white dark green and light green then we have this pink on the cheek then back to our uh, draw tool and we check here and we find our colors let's go to our layers panel here the object data properties panel and let's rename these layers this one normal and this one mirror so the normal layer will be used for all strokes that are not duplicates and the mirror layer will be used for the arms the legs even half of the dress and the ears etc now we go to the modifiers panel and we add a modifier a mirror modifier of course and we will change the influence to our mirror layer so that only the strokes in our mirror layer will be mirrored by this modifier and you see here that it will use the x-axis it means it will mirror everything horizontally but it actually uses the z-axis as its space for mirroring so the mirroring of this arm for example will be relative to this axis the z-axis but it is horizontal so i guess to avoid confusion here it says x now let's start drawing the head select our normal layer select this tool here the curve tool zoom in a little bit with our solid stroke selected and our medium pink selected we start to draw in so we draw like this and you can either move this blue ball you see here but even if you can't see it it's really hard to see two balls are supposed to be there yes one is here so it went up and is hidden and this one is here so even if you can see the ball you can just move like this and it works i think that first i should fade the background image let's just do escape and then back to the camera let's change the opacity back to 0 0.5 then back to our picky objects and again we draw a line like this and then we move this and we move this and now if you want to change the thickness of your stroke you do f you move your mouse here we are good now instead of drawing a new a brand new line we just do e to extend it and take it here and then you can move this one move this part like this we can move this yellow ball to here and it doesn't need to be perfect you see that there is like a little corner here and here it doesn't fit perfectly we will fix that later so now we do either middle mouse button or enter to apply the curve we just made now let's draw one of the nose holes here so again with the same curve tool we move these blue balls and then we take this yellow ball and put it close to the other one here and like this like this and we need to change the thickness so we do f again what's annoying here is that if you do shift it doesn't make the changing go slower let's try to fit it better and we do middle mouse button now we can draw a mouth let's use the arc here so the arc is simple f to adjust the thickness again now let's do the eyes since we have different sizes of the eyes i don't want to mirror the eyes let's choose the circle tool and just draw one eye is to shift to make it a perfect circle let's move it with g here and try to change the thickness again f and i think this is good so g again move it here seems to fit perfectly middle mouse button and then another circle shift and you see if they are not aligned and you want to make them the same size try to make this part here and this part the same size so this line here should be the same length 
of this line here in the bottom so again like this and then shift it's not working anymore okay so shift is not working anymore when you edit let's escape again and again draw a circle shift and again try to like this so you see this line here is the same length as this line and then g and move the circle here and you see it's perfect middle mouse button i think i will do the cheek for that let's select the solid fill and select our pink color and we do another circle here again try to make them the same size and move with g middle mouse button and now we do the nose again with the circle tool again the solid stroke and our pink here so you see everything doesn't need to be in perfect order uh, most of the things that you do with grease pencil you can correct later if you do a mistake or if you miss a step that's why it was it was too hard to do a course a paid course that is perfect and do all the steps in order we work here we are shilling uh, we make mistakes we can fix the mistakes later is the thickness right i think i'll change the thickness a little bit so f a little bit thicker yes and move it here and we will fix it later in sculpt mode middle mouse button and i think we finished with the head now we do the parts that we need to mirror the lashes the eyes the arms and the legs so we select now our mirror layer and start by the ear so we select our curve tool again and we draw a line here i think it's better to do this one because we can see the edges of this ear so escape and we do this one instead okay as i said it doesn't need to be perfect e and put it here like this and middle mouse button and you see that the ear was mirrored automatically because it is in the mirror layer let's do one of the lashes but you see that the lash is hidden by the eye that we drew earlier so we'll hide the normal layer here and make sure the mirror layer is still active and then we select the arc tool and we create an arc but first let's select the black color and we do an arc here and we like this and then we change the thickness let's make it as thick as this extremity here and then in edit mode we will make it look just like this one so f and decrease the thickness now we can move again maybe increase the thickness a little bit and we do middle mouse button yes so we have two lashes here and the other one we just duplicate this one in edit mode let's draw an eye let's select the circle tool select a fill material and black of course we do one eye shift to make it perfectly circular we can move it a little bit with g and middle mouse button we will fix the placement later also let's do one arm so we select the line tool this time and we select our pink color and what's happening yes we are using the solid fill instead of our stroke so escape so you can switch materials either here in the layers panel here or you can in viewport do you and select a material left click draw the arm it is too thin so f and make it middle mouse button and then we draw an arc for one of the fingers then we do the other ones in edit mode so one arc here let's do g and move it a little bit here so that we can see the thickness and do f and i think this is good and then g again and like this so middle mouse button you can also go to the camera and change here in the background image settings from back to front and here you can see our background image in front of our strokes so maybe you should do Control z yes remove it and then back to the camera again put it in front back to our piggy draw an arc try to fit it to this finger like this maybe like this because this one is a little bit thinner from this side so it should be some space here down here middle mouse button then we do the legs so again our line tool and we draw a line a vertical line we do shift to make it perfectly vertical here now we can move it a little bit to the middle of the other leg with the reference leg and then f to make it thicker nice and then e to extend it and shift to make it perfectly horizontal this time and here we have a leg we do middle mouse button and we will do the shoe we'll do it later now we do the body we change to i think to the curve tool zoom in a little bit so we draw to this place i guess then i want this ball i don't want it to cross the z axis here and then we create an arc i can't even zoom out now so this is a problem if you want to extend it now you can zoom out and you can't go beyond this point here so again we escape and zoom out and try again so a line from here to here create this arc Mm -hmm. try to make this arc here fit with the rest of the line that we will create next so let's do e to extend and create this one stop here left click and then e again and extend horizontally shift to make it perfectly horizontal try not to cross the z axis left click middle mouse button and we're done with the body let's just add the shadow under the girl so we select the circle line again our fill material 
black color our normal layer we don't want to mirror this circle here it seems that i forgot to unhide the normal layer so let's unhide it draw a circle again even if it's barely visible because our image is in front okay let's do escape back to the camera put this guy back in back back to the stroke and draw again let's do g and try to fit it in the middle and i think we are good here we have our shadow we do middle mouse button again and we have this black circle and now we can go to edit mode and start editing our strokes the first thing we will do is to give some transparency to this fill here so we select it we select one point from it and then we go to stroke normalize opacity under here let's expand it we can change this value here to 0.5 i think 0.7 or 0.8 is good and we do the same for the cheek let's select one point stroke normalize opacity let's disable overlays to see the strokes better let's do 0.7 let's enable overlays again let's start with the lashes here let's hide our normal layer so that we can see the lash and let's make it thinner from the side so let's zoom in and select a point in the end here and then enable the circle here it's called proportional editing click on it or just hit o on viewport alt s to resize our stroke you can see that we are resizing every stroke here because there is a circle that we can't see because we are zoomed in if we zoom out and do alt s again you see this circle this big circle is the area of influence of proportional editing to reduce the size of the circle we use the wheel of the mouse and we scale like this and now we will affect only the strokes inside the circle let's do escape and zoom in back do alt s again and start playing with this guy Play with the side of the circle and i think we are good now let's duplicate it first we do l to select all the points and then we do shift d duplicate here r to rotate it we don't need proportional editing anymore so we do escape and we disable it and then again r and we move it like this and we resize it with s just s not alt s and you see that it is resizing the thickness of the stroke too which is what we want in this case g and move it here we can rotate again a little bit and since the mirroring is in action our changes reflected in the mirror too now let's do the nose let's unhide the normal layer again let's select this nose hole here so to close it we'll do f yeah i think we'll duplicate it later after we polish it in sculpt mode so we'll do the fingers so let's select this finger one point l to select everything g to move it a little bit now select this point again we enable proportion editing o alt s to resize the stroke and yes i think this is good now add again to select everything disable proportional editing o and move this guy here now we duplicate it shift d we rotate it r we resize it a little bit because this finger is a little bit bigger than this one so s g to move it and place it here i think we need to rotate it a little bit so r and g move it again now we duplicate it again i think i will duplicate this one instead l select everything shift d to duplicate it r to rotate it g and i think resize just a little bit again r and i think we are good with this one too now we do the thumb shifty let's rotate it like this vertically and then we will resize it in this axis like in the z axis so s z and we can resize it in the z axis only and now i think this arc is too pronounced so we select a point in the middle enable proportional editing again g to move and reduce the size of the sky and see when we move we can have this effect here and we have like a flatter arc now I select everything l and we do i think it's Control m for mirroring and then we choose x to mirror it on the x axis and then left click and we have this so rotate it a little bit move it here you see the circle it means that we didn't disable proportional editing nothing wrong seems to have happened so we will just place it left click let's move it again and try to make a flatter arc g move again g again move it like this g l and then i think alt s let's make it thicker let's disable proportional editing alt s again and G, rotate it just a little bit. S, let's resize it a little bit. G, and we have this. And we did one arm, and you see it was mirrored in the opposite arm. Now we do the legs. We create the shoes here. So we do left click and drag for box select. So we selected the circle too. I didn't mean to. Alt A to deselect everything. So the last point in the foot is this one. Left click, yes. Now we do control plus 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 so that we select the next linked point and voila we selected this line here and we duplicate it shift d and we'll try to make it thicker just like the shoe here so i think i'll select this point here enable proportional editing o alt s and make it bigger i think i'll give it here maybe try with this point alt s again smaller 
let's make even this side here a little bit thicker than the foot so that it envelops it so again select this point and alt s and try to make it just a little bit thicker maybe here too just a little bit now how do we change the color of this guy here to black let's go to vertex paint mode control tab and select this mode here vertex paint just put the mouse on it and release control and tab and now we can either paint this guy black or we can enable a selection here and you see that this shoe here is selected and we select a color just select our palette from here you hit this guy here this icon or this arrow and you select piggy here you can choose black make sure that this color here changes to black we go to paint set color attributes Ta -da! back to edit mode by just hitting tab o to desire purpose and editing and g and move this line here Let's zoom in and try to make them on top of each other so g again and with here let's go to sculpt mode now control tap sculpt mode and let's try to fix some things here let's start with the ears first we enable stroke selection and now we can do alt and select the ear only so that only the ear is affected by the sculpting and now we select this tool this is the tool i use most in sculpt mode it is similar to this one the grab tool but the push tool seems to work better we can do f to increase the size of our sculpt influence or our brush size and we can start working on the stroke to make it fit to our reference image i think i will select the camera and put our image again on front again we select our piggy and we start working again so here don't worry about this one it's just a reflection it's a virtual ear for now so you can do shift middle mouse to pan like this and then move this guy here f to resize and you see here that it's like pointed and in the reference it's smoother here in the corner so let's resize f and then we do shift to smooth this corner here so every time you have like a jagged line you can smooth it by using shift and left click and drag and you can continue sculpting like this f i like to have a bigger size so that my edits are smoother the smaller the brush the more these wiggly effects you get let's do shift and smooth this out again we can disable overlays to see our edits more clearly i think it's good we can switch to the nose so we do alt and left click to make only the nose editable and we can start increase the size like this note also if you are close to the strokes the influence is bigger than if you are far from them so if you want like subtle changes subtle movements you go far and you edit it with the edge only like this and i think we are done it doesn't need to be 100 percent like the original now we select the nose so alt again left click and now we can't edit the nose anymore but only the nose hole decrease the size try to move this guy like this increase again try to fit it to the reference zoom in a little bit and smooth maybe resize and shift and smooth like this now we can duplicate it in edit mode yes i think we are done with the sculpting so back to edit mode tab and we can duplicate the nose here shift d and now we want to resize this nose hole but we don't want to scale the thickness of the stroke we want them to have the same thickness so we go here and the stroke and we disable scale thickness escape or we can do the period key in the keyboard the one with the letters and not the one in the numpad you will have the spy menu and here you can choose to scale the thickness or not period key hover over it release now it's disabled now you can resize and the nose will resize and see that the thickness of the stroke stays the same so fit it with the other nose hole and voila left click to release it is time to apply our mirror modifier so we can't apply the mirror modifier in edit mode or any other mode except in object mode so shift tab object mode we select this guy apply left click no more modifier and now the duplicates are real let's go back to edit mode we have two strokes for the body for the dress and we want them to be just one so first we select one point from this stroke and then shift select another point from this stroke and we do Control j to join them and see that they were joined here this point was joined to this point and now since they are one single stroke we can do f to fill and this way we can close the stroke 
So Ctrl J will join two separate strokes and F will close a single stroke like you can see here. Now we can also start moving our lashes and our eye here. I can see the eye and the lashes very clearly. So again, I think we go to camera and we switch back to back back to our piggy we select our lashes and our eye we do l to select all the strokes and we do g x to move them on the x axis we should move these guys a little bit closer to the center of the eye select this one shift select the other one l to select everything and then g and move them close here now to the ear so we select one point l and then g x and move it here i think we forgot to sculpt the head contour so let's go to sculpt mode again Control tab sculpt mode and we do alt left click to select this guy let's try to fit it like this let's smooth this corner using shift left drag zoom out and fit this one here so instead of changing the size of the brush you can zoom in and out and you see that the brush size stays the same so if you zoom out it's like you are having a bigger brush let's try to move this up without getting out from the other side we don't want this and we don't want this so something in between let's do this part here I think we are good. So back to edit mode, just tap. And now we can delete this extra lines in the ear. For that, we select this mode here. This one selects strokes until they cross another stroke. It's not working for some reason, maybe because they are not on the same layer. So let's try to move the ears. Let's select one point and then shift select one point from here. And then do M and move them to the normal layer. Now they are in the same layer. So let's try again. Yes, now it's working. So we select this part here and then we do XD and then select this one. XD and voila now it's time to start filling our character i don't think we need the reference image anymore let's select again the piggy let's go to draw mode and let's select our fill tool so we have a solid fill here we will pin it so that it doesn't change accidentally to another material and then we can choose colors okay so we have the eyes in this layer let's choose a white color let's also go to the advanced settings here and change simplify to three so that the fill shapes are not too dense and we can click one time and then click a second time to fill and you see that the fill is in front of the pink stroke but we want it behind so let's do ctrl z enable this button here draw strokes on back but we are not drawing strokes we are making fills we will make fills on the back so again click one time and then click a second time the irises are in uh, the lower layer that's why it was hidden here but it's not a problem we will fix it later let's do another fill here one click and two clicks the reason we do two clicks is to fill gaps so if you have a shape that has a gap in it let's create this shape here select a solid stroke first let's pin it too so that we always have a solid stroke with our draw tool so we create a shape like this and then we try to fill it so you click one time and then you use the mouse button to create these gap filling lines here let's select a pink a light pink fill this ear and then this ear too i think we should fill the nose holes first because we are in fill to back mode so if you fill the the bigger area and then you fill the nose holes the fill of the nose hole will be behind the nose fill and you won't be able to see it so we start with the dark pink here i think i will disable the visual aids here we don't need them and they are distracting so now i can fill with just one click and then i choose the light pink and we fill the nose we have a tricky part here in the face because the fill will follow the curves here will follow the stroke and then will follow the cheek also but i don't want that let's hide the mirror layer and see which strokes are there we should move the ear this ear to the other layer so that we can hide them with the layer and we move the cheek too so back to edit mode tap and then select this cheek here there is this mod here selected let's select stroke mode so select the cheek and then shift select the ear and also shift select the ear fell let's do m and move them to the mirror layer and now i can hide the mirror layer the shapes inside this space won't affect the fill so we don't need to move and hide these strokes go back to draw mode tab again one left click and voila let's unhide the mirror layer now we can fill the body let's try to fill it without moving anything one click and go back to edit mode and if you check the fill here it goes around the arms and around the legs and also it stops just here let's do ctrl z ctrl z ctrl z ctrl z yeah back to edit mode let's select the arms so box select here shift box select here and the legs shift box select m and move them this time to the normal layer and now we hide the normal layer back to draw mode tap we select our light green we fill the shape 
This is the end of part one. Subscribe, leave a like, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. In the next video, we prepare the character for Wigan by organizing strokes in layers, creating masks, creating new shapes and animations for the mouth, eyes, etc., and resampling strokes. Thanks for watching and peace.